Hey boys and girls! Today's learning target is I can check my email and send an email to someone else. So when we're doing remote learning like this, the email is the quickest way for you to ask me a question or get a hold of me if you need help because you're sending a message straight to me. That way you don't have to wait till our next Google meeting to ask me a question. You can ask me right away. I might even say, hey, let's have a Google meeting at this time so that I can help you uh, in that way. But the email is the way that you get my attention. So let's get started learning how to check your email and how to send an email to someone else. Okay, so let's figure out how to get to your email. I'm here in the Google main search page and to get to your email, the easiest way is to come up to the side here where it says Gmail. That's your Google email. If it doesn't show here for some reason, you could check the waffle menu. That's the one with the little squares in a grid. And look for Gmail right here. It's, um, I believe it is an envelope, but it's like a red M on a white rectangle. If none of those work, you could also do a search for Gmail and that would take you to what you wanted. I'm just gonna click the word Gmail though. All right, now you can see that this example student account has lots of emails that they have not read. To read an email, you click the email. I'll do one that I sent this student as the teacher. And when you click it, here's your message. You may find you have a ton of old emails like this example student. If you need to delete emails, you can click these boxes. I'll just delete the oldest five. And once you click those boxes, a bunch of different options show up up here. The one we want to get rid of old emails with is the trash can. Be careful when you do that, that you don't delete something that you needed to read. However, if you did accidentally delete something, it's going to be okay because you can look in the trash can. Now this student has it set up so it's hidden. You see how it keeps popping up when I move my mouse to the side? There is a way to change that so it stays put um, that I'm not remembering right now. But you can ask me in one of the meetings and we'll figure it out. Right now, we're in our inbox. That's like your mailbox where all your emails go. There, are, you can star important messages or things like that. This lets you check things you already sent to someone. Maybe you sent me an email, but you want to double check that you said what you meant to say. Drafts are like rough drafts of emails, things you haven't sent yet. If you click the more arrow, it gives you a lot more options and most of these you won't need. But here is the trash can. If I click the trash can, I can see all the emails that we've deleted in this account. Let's say, oops, I didn't want to delete that one. When you click it, the options show up here again. You could delete it forever, or if we needed to, we could move to, that's the folder with the arrow, and tell it where to put it. Maybe let's put it back in our inbox. So that jumps it from there all the way back to our email inbox. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to write an email. This rainbow colored plus sign says compose next to it. It's just a little rainbow plus sign when it's hidden like that. If you go there and click compose, it'll pop up a new message for you. In the beginning, there's a place for you to write who this message is to. Let's. I'll send one to this example student's teacher. It's, they'll send it to me. 
So I'm just going to start typing my last name. And as I type it, Google realizes, hey, you're trying to send it to this person. Now my email is in there and it will be sending this email to me. Next is the subject line. The subject should not be a whole sentence. It should just be one or two words to give me an idea about what this email is going to say. <clears throat> so if this was a question email, maybe you have question about math, the subject would be math question. Two words to give me an idea of what to expect when I open your email. You're not going to type the whole question here because that's what this part is for. This is the body of the email or where you actually type your message. And this part down here follows most of the same rules as writing a friendly letter. In the beginning, it's polite to say something like, hi or dear so-and-so, depends on how well you know the person. You might notice that people sometimes skip the hello step, but if it's so, think about how well you know the person you're writing to. If it's someone you don't know very well, do it like a letter. Like if you were writing to Mr. Dickinson, oh, okay, I should do it that way. you would do it like a letter with a comma and then press enter twice to get to the letter. If it's to um, someone you know kind of well or you're being friendly, you could type something like, hi, or hello, how are you doing? That kind of thing. But sometimes it's just a quick, I have a question, I want you to write back fast, and you might just type your question right here. How do I turn in the dot? I'm just making up imaginary question. So basically, think about your purpose for writing the email. Is this a longer one where you're trying to explain something? Is this a short, here's a quick question to somebody that I know pretty well? Because then you could do just one or two sentences. After you've typed your, your email, and then at so we'll do our greeting. In the middle, we'll talk about, uh, this will be the how are you? Um, I'm enjoying my classes this week. Press enter twice again, and then you can sign your name, just like a, a normal letter that you would write with a pencil. Um, you could sign it if it's someone you don't know very well, sincerely. If it's someone you know pretty good, you could say, talk to you soon. Or if you're typing a really fast question, you might just put your name. Again, think about who you're sending a message to and what your purpose is. Or thank you and then your name. All right. There are other buttons here that we might learn about a little later in, in the year, like you can add photos or put things from your Google Drive in here. But the important thing is this is where the e this is where you put who the email is going to. This is the subject, a couple words to give us an idea what to expect. This is where the actual email goes. And then once you're happy with it, you click send. It's away. The email is going to my email inbox. Okay, your job for today is to go to your email, maybe clean up some old emails if there is a bit of a mess like in this person's inbox, and send me an email just uh, maybe saying hi, or uh, asking me a question, telling me about something fun you're doing at home. You get to decide. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.